Hi and welcome. My name is Bruce Schwartz. I'm from Montreal, Quebec, in this weird country that we call Canada, or that we used to call Canada. A very aggressive sun with some pretty little birds going by in the distance. And look how aggressive it is. It's really bad. This is today's sun. And after today's sun, please stick around till the center of the video um, so that we can talk about the rust on the moon, talk about yet more lines on the surface. There's things that I'm showing you guys that some people uh, see and some people don't. And particularly, I'm being very careful, but I'm going to show you some more proof and evidence of constructed lines on the surface. And you know that famous blue, baby blue patch of, um, well, we don't know what it is on the moon, water. Lots of you tell me, try to get it. It's near Copernicus. But now... Um, I looked in my footage from, of course, eight weeks ago, and I noticed, of course, a lot more rusting, like I told you in the last video, which we're going to see even more today. I also noticed blue, baby blue spots, very cloudy like baby blue spots, appearing in many of the craters. Could it be water that is starting to accumulate in the craters? NASA told us that there was water that was changing places on the surface. Changing places is another term for running water. It's not taking buses down from the north, right? It's traveling downwards and making creeks and rivers, most likely if they're not already there, and maybe even possibly causing some vegetation. I'll get some music up, look at these close-ups, and then we'll head over to the moon. People always like it when I push the telescope to its limits. Well, let's push her ass and see what she can do. We're going to see some incredible detailed surface anomalies. We're going to see all the little craters. And look, as compared to uh, the footage that you've seen in the past, if you're just arriving here, let me know if you find the footage good quality. And let me know if you've seen more details here than you've seen anywhere else. Thanks a lot, everyone. Be sure to watch till the end of the video. I'm going to share a very personal moment I've had with John Lear. Remember this structure? Do you have good eyes? When I showed it yesterday, well, yesterday, the last video, did you notice how many lines are also elsewhere? 
I'll show you three lines side by side, uh, climbing and descending to go to this big crater you see in the crater, uh, in the center right there, there. Look as, you know, pause it, do whatever you have to do. I'm seeing them right now, these three lines. And uh, there's structures there, and there's also smoke coming out of the end of those lines or passing over top of those lines. So lots of colors on the surface of the moon, and now more rust colors appearing. And as you descend the exposure, you, I mean, this, is, this isn't done with paint, right? It, it's just looking at the moon, bringing the exposure down. There is a yellow spot on the surface of the moon. I wanted to show you that. Oh, these are, you know, details that some people have asked me. Have you seen where that yellow, is an apparently a yellow gas spot? Well, it's right there, and it's always yellow that way. You see the greens and the blues there? Turquoise, baby blue, dark blue, there's green, there's navy green, uh, sorry, there, there's army green. There's, you see all the different colors. But what is that? I've never seen it there before. Maybe it was there before. I just didn't pick it up for whatever the reason. But it reminds me a lot of a little pool of water. Or I would say more a big pool of water. It doesn't mean it is. But there are not that many baby blue spots like that. And the problem is they're starting to appear in certain craters. Is it an accumulation of water coming from the craters or descending from the north? As they said themselves, NASA scientists, right? You can see it over on the right spot there, on the right, that blue intense spot again, very dark green spot over on the left, and those greens that are forming along craters, and uh, we will be comparing over the years to see if there are any differences, and I assure you there are. So where the browns are appearing, there are also green areas. I've always seen green areas there, so yes, sometimes the green looks brown, but... Listen to what I'm saying. I'm being honest. I've never seen this brown until last year when NASA and scientists started saying that the moon was rusting. And when they said it, it was instantaneous. So something definitely either happened, who knows, but hey, look at that pool of water there. Or again, I keep saying pool of water. Maybe it's not. Maybe that crater there that has blue beside it's a pool of water. There's a couple of them that have some blues. And again, the browns and Serenitatis, which are between browns and green, as the year progresses, Archimedes in the center there, we're go Plato on top, we're going to take a look at that throughout the year and uh, different moons. Like, for example, let's go back um, last summer, okay? Uh, no, the summer before, right? We're going to go two summers ago, and we're going to look at the surface. We could actually see... I had already started mentioning it, that there were a lot of browns on the bottom part of Mare Serenitatis, right there. And as we progress with the exposure, you're going to see it appear a lot too. Um, but now the browns are starting to form a lot more in those um, not so brown areas are now extremely brown. And again, those brown areas are the areas where the green appears when we see green on the surface. So you can't help but wonder. Boom. Let's grab the exposure. And we see no differences. You don't see the colors uh, appearing that I'm showing you, the rusts and the reds and the, um, you know, it's just that brownish with the blue. And, of course, some greenery at times when the moon was a bit bigger on the other half. But over time, it, it really has changed. In only a part of the message sent by John Lear, I was asked how with an explanation on how I was able to amplify and post photos of alleged lunar building structures. Thank you for liking this video and taking the time to subscribe and sharing it on other platforms. The odd part for me was that John Lear said the supposed structures when he's the one that told everyone in the world that there were structures. What were his intentions? Near the end of John Lear's life, he started changing his song. Then at one point it became that there were no structures on the moon. Were his intentions really to find out how I was doing this? Or was it to stop what I was doing and to hide what I was doing? 
you know, this guy, first time I saw him, one of my heroes with Bob Lazar, but uh, you got to wonder why John Lear was also in contact with Bob Lazar. Eyes everywhere. Everything is upside down and backwards. Doesn't matter cause the disclosure's coming soon. This disclosure's coming. 